Hello everyone, this is Boxfu. Today we would like to share one of the latest TV box. It is called Q11 TV box with the Android 11 operating system. A logical is 905X4 chipset. So you can see how it looks like on this TV box. And we will start to talk about this TV box from the unboxing. So let's talk about what I want. So you can see this is the package. And for these models, actually all the products from our store we supposed to customize your logos on the TV box or on the, on the package, even on the remote control. So if you want to promote your brand, your company, you can send us your logo PSD file or PNG file so we can just uh, print your logo on the package or on the products. And this MOQ for one piece only. More important is if for some uh, customer they require a large quantity, you also can change this whole package to your own design. We can design this package for you or you send us your design so we can change the color package. This will be the very simple customization to promote your company or your brand. So let's open this TV box. And you can see this is the TV box and under uh, there are some accessories under here and this on. It will have a plastic bag and this will be the front side of the Q11 TV box. And if you want to print your logo, we can just print your logo on here. So this will be the design of the Q11. And if you want to change this design, change this case, you also can contact us directly for a deeply customization. And they are, uh, there is a button for the Bluetooth remote control connecting. And on this side, you can find it supposed the uh, ethnet. For this Q11 TV box, it supports 1000 M Ethernet for cables and it supports the AV connector to your TV or HDMI connector to your TV and also supports the optical and 5B for the power supply and it has two USB hubs. One is the USB 2.0 and another will be the USB 3.0 and it supports the TF card. So this will be the very basic information about this TV box. Let's check some accessories. And it with a Bluetooth remote control. So you can see this is the design of the Bluetooth remote control. And it supports the voice control function. And the voice control function is on here. And you will find this remote control have many shortcuts and function numbers and many function keys on this remote. And for this remote control, it supports the infrared isolation for your TV. So we also will show you how it works. And uh, there are five keys like the TV power supply button and also the signal and volume down and volume up and mute. Five buttons for you to control your TV. At the same time, you already connected uh, this TV box to your TV now. So just the uh, one remote control to control both your TV box and the TV. So this will be the remote control. And it with the power adapter. We have four different power adapters for different countries. And HDMI. This will be the HDMI. And the connection is very simple to connect uh, your TV to the TV box. So the HDMI is for the signal to your smart TV. So you can just uh, connect uh, the HDMI plug in and another side to connect uh, to your TV. And they are in the same signal. And this is for the power adapter. And we can just uh, use plug in the power supply. This is for the power supply. So this connection is very simple and easy to use, right? And the last one will be the use menu and it shows many details in English or in other languages. And you also can contact us directly for the specifications or features about the Q11 TV box. So we just share some basic information about the Q11 TV box. If you want to get more information about the Q11, just tell us directly. And now we are going to connect the Q11 TV box to the TV and show you, for, show you more information now. Okay, we already connected the Q11 TV box to the TV now. So this is the both image. 
If you want to customize the boat image or the boat animation, we also support it. You just need to send us these files so we can set a DIY customization apps for you. So you can set the boat image or boat animation. And now it's next to the uh, this Bluetooth pairing page for the first time. When you first start connecting the Q11 TV box to the TV, it will show you to pair this remote control. And we just need to use this remote control and it tell you press, hold the OK and minus buttons at the same time and point at your TV box. So press the OK and minus button together and point at the TV box directly so the remote control connecting successfully, it will change to the basic settings, like the language. You can choose the language you need it and use the right button to move to the next step. And you can choose the one you need it based on your TV screen. And also the time zone. We can choose the one you need it for any, based on your own situations. And next to the network, the TV box supports the 100, 1000 amp Ethernet. So you can use the Ethernet directly, or you can use the Wi-Fi. The Q11 TV box supports the 2.4G and 5G Wi-Fi. So you can just choose the Wi-Fi and input the Wi-Fi password for the Wi-Fi. So we can use the number keys if your Wi-Fi with the numbers. And click the OK. Click the next step and connect. It will start to connect now. Connect it. So let's back to the next part. And it is a notice that shows your settings completed. And also you can uh, back to the settings of this TV box to change some settings if you did something, something wrong. And click the OK. So we are back to the home page of the Q11 TV box now. Q11 TV box with the AOSP operating system and all the apps on these devices with the TV version. So uh, some of users will know the TV and mobile versions differences and also have pre-installed some media applications on the devices. And this one also has some cherry application on the TV box. So you can just uh, uh, choose the apps you want to use it. This is the apps and next also have the recommend some apps on here and settings will be on here you can click one by one and to get more information on here now we are back to the settings there are many different settings we will check one by one first one will be the system settings you can click the system settings and you will get some uh, general settings like the network internet on here you can change or connect the wi-fi or you can use the ethernet cables and also this is the accounts uh, this is for the Google account because you will use some Google application so you need to sign your Google account on here and also you can get more apps on here. This will show the apps and you can check what are the built-in application on here and also uh, let's see it also has some app permissions. You can check the permissions on here. So some apps will allow some permissions on here, so you can check the permissions, permissions on here and back to the device preferences. And the device preferences, you will get more information about the Q11 TV box. Click the about, you can check the system updates, factory reset. Factory reset will clean and move all the apps you already done or the files in this TV box. So we don't suggest customer to do the factory reset if your TV box is running, no problem. And status like the uh, network or other information. And the model name will be the Q11 and Android TV OS version will be 11.
and we can get more other files firmware information on here. So this will be the about info, and you can change or choose the date time on here. And language, you can change or choose the language on here. And keyboard info display, you also can change the display. And we can see the screen resolution. Uh, normally, will automatically match to the TV. And also, you can set on here. So you can find the display mode. Uh, now it's the 4K and you can check some others. And storage. For the Q11 TV box, this TV box with the 4 GB memory and 32 GB for the internal shared storage. So you can uh, save some files, videos, pictures, or download some apps on this Q11 TV box. And uh, this TV box Remote control supports the voice function, so it's with a uh, Google Assistant, and you can check check more information from here. And the last one will be the restart. Restart will be if you choose the restart, the TV box will reboot again. So this file will restart to again. So this will be the device preferences, and next will be the remotes and accessories. You can. You can check the remote info, like we connected will be the remote ATV5 and also you can uh, click some other Bluetooth devices. You can click the add accessories on here and you can search for many other different Bluetooth devices and pairing and you can use more different Bluetooth devices. So this will be the basic information on, on the system settings. Next will be the launcher settings. And you can get more information like the parent settings, startup apps. We can click the startup apps. If I choose the YouTube as a startup apps, when you turn on this TV box, the YouTube will start, will open directly after your connecting is finished. And also you can update launching if you choose, uh, if you do some updates. And also you can reset the launching. And next will be the wallpaper. You can choose the wallpapers as you want it or just uh, uh, set your own favorite wallpaper on here. And next will be the software update. And this TV box supports the local update or online update from the internet. And about the hard case, you will notice this, uh, this remote control has four buttons, different colors. So you can just uh, customize the RCU hard case red, green, yellow, blue as a startup app. For example, I can choose the red uh, to start the YouTube. So when I press this uh, red button, it will start up the YouTube. But you also can see for some popular application, they already have the shortcuts. So if already have the shortcuts, so these four hard keys, you can set some other applications on here. So back to the next one, system info. Q11 and the versions you can check on here. And next, power. This power is similar to the power buttons on the remote control. When we press the power button, you will find there are three options. You can choose the sleep, the standby mode, or the shutdown, turn off mode, or the reboot, restart mode. And also you can choose on here, power app, and also have the three options. Standby, power off, or restart. They are the same function. And uh, if you want to do some clean up on the memory, you can just choose the memory cleanup. So this will be the basic settings on the uh, Q11 TV box now. Now we are going to talk about the Q11 voice remote control. This remote control has the voice function. So how to use the voice function? You just need to press this button and set something. Like I want to open the YouTube or Netflix or something else, we just need to press and speak loudly. Like open YouTube, open YouTube, and now it opens the YouTube. Now you also can do some other command. This will be very convenient. So you can just press this voice button and. Uh, search for something, just you don't need to do something. So 
so you can get more information from the YouTube app you download it. And uh, if you cannot use the voice function, please make sure on the settings your network is working no problem and also the Google accounts have to sign in so you can use the voice function properly. So this will be the voice function. Next, we are going to uh, use some apps to test uh, this Q11 TV box. And first one will be the AIDA64 app. So you can just uh, test the uh, info of the Q11 TV box directly. And for this TV box system, it shows the model name will be the Q11. And it is used uh, a large core as 905X4 chipset with the 4G plus 32GB memory. So you can download and run in many different apps. And you can get more and more different apps on here. And there are many information on here. And this back to the CPU. CPU shows the core text A55 and also the ARM is 64 bit. And also have some other CPU course information and you can find on here. It is 4 core TV box. Next one will be the display screen resolutions and the GPU vendor or something else and you can get more information on here and next network information and you can use the dual Wi-Fi 2.4G 5G Wi-Fi or you can use the net uh, Ethernet cable suppose 1000 m Ethernet cable and there are also many other information on here you can find it and next will be the battery information of this TV box and Android, it is Android 11, and you can get more information from here. Next will be the devices, and you can find the information on here. And next will be the thermal scissors information, and you can get more information from the apps. You can get the apps information and um, other information you all can find on here. So this will be the specification of the Q11 TV box. Next, we're going to check if this TV box root or not. So we already installed root check app and open it. And it shows the Q11 is not rooted and running Android 11 operating system. And if you want to uh, prefer to do some customization, we also support it. If you are interested to customize your own TV box, you can leave us uh, messages below the video and we will contact you directly and share more information for you. And it's back to some other. The third app will be the M22 Lite. So we choose the M22 Lite and open this app. And we move to the test now and click test now and it will start to test this app test this Q11 device now it will take a longer time to test it so let's see the result later